everybody doing today on Bass Masters Fishing 2022? Today we're going to put down the old bass pole and we're going to pick up the catfishing rod and reel. Let's get into some catfishing action. One of my favorite species to catch. Today we're going to talk about some basic setup, some techniques, and some of the most popular baits to use and what the pros recommend. I'd also like to give a shout out to Hunter Rooks, one of my viewers who has suggested to use the sunfish as a catfish bait. And let me tell you, Hunter, it has been working great, which is something I've have tried before. I've experimented with different baits and different lures for catfishing, but the sunfish does work and it works consistently. So if you look under the species list, the pro tip for the blue catfish is the booty shaker. For the channel catfish is the brown purple flush and for a flathead it is the BAMF shad purple shad. I use all three of them and a combination of some other baits. Let's take a quick look at my loadout and I'll show you the five poles I have set up for catfishing. So let's take a look. These bottom two, number seven and eight, are almost identical. The only difference is the size of the weight on the Texas rig. So a quarter ounce and an eighth ounce. So if I'm fishing a little bit deeper, I'm gonna go with the eighth ounce. But right here is kind of shallow, so it's five to seven, eight feet maybe. So I'm using the one quarter ounce with a five odd hook. So I know there's a lot of players out there watching this video that don't fish in real life so you may be a little confused what a 5 aught and a number 5 hook is. There's a dramatic difference. So if you want more information, I'll put a link in the description below to my website that has some Bassmaster Fishing 22 gear specifically on hooks and how to use them and the different size charts. So let's talk about retrieval. So once you cast out and that bait hits the water, it's going to start to sink down. Sometimes bass and catfish and other species will bite your lure while it's falling. So they do bite it on the fall, but most of the time I use a constant retrieve on real speed one. If I'm in eight feet of water, I know the fish are about two feet off the bottom. I try to keep it between five and six feet. So if my lure starts to get higher than that, I'll stop it and let it fall back down. Sometimes that triggers a bite. Sometimes that also makes chasing fish stop chasing it. After it falls back down to whatever depth I'm choosing to fish at, I'll just do a slow constant retrieve. So I am using a 30 pound braid line and a heavier pole on some of these loadouts. I have a whole separate video on proper way and technique to fight the fish to keep that fish on so it stops flashing and you don't lose the hook set. So about right now, you're probably wondering where I'm at because you want to come here too to catch some big old flathead and channel catfish while well, I'm in the Sabine River. And you can see my little location on the map in the fish finder. I'm all the way to the southeast in these little small canals and you can see the fish finder is just glowing, man. There's so many fish in here and they're just stacked up in this little canal. You can see right here, I'm just doing a constant retrieve. I'm a couple of feet off the bottom, and that's about the location of where these catfish are. It looks like some of them are checking it out, so I kind of let it drop. Bam! Fish on, baby. Fish on. Catfish could be on for dinner tonight, son. So drop a comment with any bait or lure that you like to use. If you want to talk about your favorite fishing location, your favorite lake, and there's certain lakes I do not like. If they have any lakes and rivers that you don't like, let me know. Drop a comment. Feel free to share any information you have about bass marks fishing with me. Do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button. Keep on fishing and having a great time with Bassmasters Fishing 2022. Enjoy the rest of the video with no commentary. Keep fishing and I'll see you next time.